I feel like I this movie is where I was in my life. It's a hundred percent me, just extend it just expanded to a bit more of an extreme. I feel like I'm having the full experience. Because you're so focused on making sure that you're not ruining this kid's life. You're not gonna repeat your parents' mistakes. You're not gonna do the wrong things. And you do. Yep. You just do. Mm. Our friends. Well, I'm so happy to talk to both of you guys. You know, I was, when I put this movie together and I'm like, yeah, it only made sense that the girl with the vagina fangs and the crazy stalker guy would get together to do a family movie, you know, about having a child. <laughs> I guess I, I when love... those people make a family. <laughs> yeah. I love that you called this a family movie. I, I <laughs> hope everybody thinks that this is a family movie. <laughs> you know what? Little... It goes a little blue at times for, you know, for little Teddy and. But that's reality of, of human life, I think. I think that was the most authentic kind of a, a view of a relationship and, and parents coming together and not knowing what to expect and what's happening. And, uh, you know, being a fan of both of your work over the years, I just thought it was super awesome. The girl from Teeth and, and the, the stalker from Unsane came together. <laughs> it was just awesome in that aspect. Anybody of it. can make a baby. Yes, so. absolutely. <laughs> and lots of people have. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. Yeah. You know, I, I'm curious. You guys came together to, to write this, too. Uh, did you guys have a friendship prior? Did you know each other, you know, throughout the years? Because, you know, in this industry, kind of know each other, and then you don't see each other for years or come together. I was curious how this kind of came about. Another interview, actually, interviewer just actually remind us that it's act, our 10-year anniversary oh. of releasing the last movie that we made together. Because we made an, another one 10 years ago called The Lie in the same way where we- I did not see that. Storyboarded each of the scenes and then improv our way through it. Um, Check it out. That one's on iTunes too. Maybe we'll release them as a package. <laughs> It'd be a great back-to-back -back in that case. 10 year, or a 10 year special, you know? But it's what do you say, Josh? It's the emotionally, more emotionally formidable prequel this one is to that it, it, the new one because that that movie also grapples with some of the same issues but we made it 10 years ago before either of us had met our partners before we were even dreaming about being parents and and so there was a little bit more role playing going on in that and then and then we came back and that was a movie about a couple who had just had a baby and then we came back 10 years later i had already had a kid jess was about to have a kid and made a movie about you know the lead up to having a baby so well, prequel style i like it prequel. going back but now you guys have experience which kind of leads me into my question what was it like now doing a film now that you you mentioned that other film which is a cool parallel now that you had kids and had that experience and, and kind of going back into it do you think it helped you guys individually uh with the idea of like kind of what it is to to be on the verge of being a parent individually and then now kind of uh putting it together into a film I think it's why we made it is because we were living these anxieties mm -hmm. um, and, and the existential, cri the identity crisis that comes with be being a parent. Um, and for me, I, I feel like I, this movie is where I was in my life. It's a hundred percent me just extend it just expanded to a bit more of an extreme mm -hmm. um, it, the emotional undercurrent is very very honest to both of us the situational humor is uh is a bit hyperbolized just so so it was something more than just a, a therapy session for jess and i so hopefully we could invite other people into poke fun of our issues and laugh at them while we were doing the same, which, which was kind of like, you know, diff, like, like this very fun way to just diffuse an anxiety bomb for both of us in, in our lives. And me as a new parent and Jess as a about to be new parent. Mm. It really relaxed me to do it. I, I was 
very tense before I made this movie and scared. And I, I was still scared of having a kid after the movie too, but I, I was much more relaxed because I had just purged and basically had a blast and got to chase dildos with ducks. And all of that is very relaxing. You, Interesting. You, you had purged both metaphorically and <laughs> literally. And I vomited while we were Oh, well, that's good to know. <laughs> and, and then we kissed like five minutes later, no toothbrush, no toothpaste, no nothing. What a scene partner. Method right? acting at its finest, you know? <laughs> Guerrilla filmmaking too in that <laughs> aspect. Filmmaking at the utmost. <laughs> I'm curious because there's all these scenes. I'm like, I'm thinking to myself as like a single guy who who probably needs to get to know my dates better, you know, going out. I, I saw it through you guys in this film, kind of learning about each other too in the process um, of what you're going through. But uh, what was the craziest or kind of offset? What was the craziest thing you did? Because there's so many things from the spitting off the, um, you know, bridge to the sex shop to, to the strip joint. I mean, you guys did the whole garden there but what was the funnest I guess th things that you guys did offset that you you enjoyed uh, that had the most fun kind of just filming that for the film but and, and by the way that entire montage minus the strip club scene which we just added to the film because there happened to be a strip club in the back of the sex shop the day that we were shooting the sex shop of course <laughs> um so we were like we should probably shoot it's something there <laughs> um <laughs> Everything else in that montage we shot in the course of about six hours. A bunch wow. of us piled into a car. We shot the whole film in seven and a half days. So we no had way. Yes. That's insane. Yeah, way. It was seven very and a half days. And, and we had we had half a day to basically go shoot the chaos montage. And we had a couple ideas of what we wanted to do going out, but we also just decided we would jump in a car and drive around and look for trouble and that's where a lot of that came from of course not looking for trouble and <laughs> finding some gems for you guys in this film it was the it was the most fun day it was the most memorable fun day just trying to figure out like where can we stick this dildo and and where can we light a fire that we can get kind of like where can we make a big fire out here and oh look it's the police academy we got to stop the car <laughs> and being and, eight months pregnant you feel like you can get away with a lot more because yeah the chances that we were going to get arrested with with an eight month pregnant lady yeah we we felt we felt like we were hedging our bets in a good way <laughs> yeah you have a safe zone there like a get out of jail card right <laughs> Yeah, they're not they're not gonna arrest her they're just not so yeah and the, i mean that that thing on your head just uh, the, the, it was like a leather face you know <laughs> literally and figuratively actually the most nervous i got the entire time while shooting was walking out of the mcdonald's with that like crazy mask on that yeah. like, that <laughs> bright blue s and mask on my face that and the blue made it even better yeah it was it was so noticeable and josh is just like licking an ice cream and i was like <laughs> if i walked by this couple like walking out of a mcdonald's <laughs> I mean, yeah like, no you guys were filming or did you thought it was for real you think people thought it was real i think oh. I, <laughs> we had the we had the camera pretty well hidden um, I had bought that mask, I free, like for for like twelve ninety nine on Amazon before we started filming. Amazing like, buy. We'll find, we'll find some use for this. In the movie. <laughs> and uh, we we did just that is not it is not a McDonald's. Oh, sorry. It is not a McDonald's. <laughs> they would not support that. We had to paint out the McDonald's logo on the door. It's a, it's a burger joint. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome and, and josh did you that that color too man <laughs> kind of like a teal blue or whatever it was i mean that's amazing choice by you too thank you thank you it, <laughs> you know, it was my foray into production design or uh or costume direction it was really you see uh, you look at people looking at you in that mask and you're like i am freaking people out yep yeah it's a I mean, very I mean, strange feeling i'm like i don't think i've ever been i mean no matter what i've be become on halloween 
nothing seems as terrifying to people as like no. my enormous eight month pregnant body and this like sick and S and M mask. Like people's brains were just like, what? <laughs> what what is that? happening? There's probably like Instagram stories and everything, like TikToks or whatever, with you guys coming out of that place in you that moment. Concern for the baby. They're like, yeah. oh my god, that person. This have woman a baby. is. This woman is going to be a terrible mother. <laughs> and, and the father seems to give a no no crap about it, just having his ice cream, you know. Bring looking into it. Bring back forced <laughs> sterilization. <laughs> I got to ask, you guys have spent some time together and just, just having a lot of fun. What is your favorite thing about each other that you kind of learned through working with each other over the years and, and the friendship you bonded? I'm going to start with you, Josh. What's your kind of favorite thing about Jess uh, uh, as a person? I just think, I think um, as, as a human being and as a collaborating partner, like Jess is just game in a way that I don't think most humans are like <laughs> well clearly through this movie <laughs> no and, and 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 I mean that in mm -hmm. the best way for all her anxiety I think she's got a deep fearlessness about um you know confronting yourself confronting situations I, her talent and her brilliance is kind of like that is obviously there but it is the fact that um, it just makes, like nothing makes me happier than getting to purge some of my weirdest, darkest, most ridiculous thoughts and have both a friend and a collaborator who's like, I will meet you right where you are, friend. And <laughs> here's mine that I will give right back to you. Like, it's just, it, it's really, uh, it, it, it is really adds to my life in such a, a wonderful way. Well, that's a really that's nice compliment. What about you, Jess? Well, what about answer? Joshua? That was a, that was a beautiful answer. I feel very touched right now. Aww. And it's, it's a version of the same that I, you, I trust Josh on a very deep level that he's, that we're not going to judge each other. So we can, be really honest with each other and keep and keep the ball in the air and make fun of each other without it without hurting each other and i also he's just so wicked smart that and funny at the same time that it like he takes me by surprise like i i peed my pants a few times <laughs> while shooting this movie because the stuff he could just come up with on the spot that would take me by surprise um, was, was constant. And it, it's really fun to have a friend that you feel like you know really well and you, tr and you trust, but still like can shock you. Mm. Well, that's really cool. I like that. And then I kind of going to wrap it up by asking you guys too. also, what is the first kind of memory of each other that you guys have, whether from a film role that you've seen each other in or, or uh, just maybe meeting at a party? What was the, the first time? Because you've been working together for years, seems like. Um, what is the first kind of impression that you have of each other or memory of each other? We met at the film festival circuit, right? Did we meet at yeah. Sundance? Was I thought we weird? met at South by, or had we already met and then we were just hanging out more at South by? I think we hung out at South by. We like, we became friends and like actively tried to hang out at South by after gotcha. meeting at Sundance, I think, which is such a she she indie film. <laughs> it's an industry <laughs> thing. So annoying. That's so annoying. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I don't even know. I, 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 I thought Jess and I had a crush on her, which then turned into a friendship, which then turned into a, a talent crush and, uh, and, and, and like a really wonderful history of collaboration. And you're making movies playing a couple. I guess that's, you know, that kind of all rolls up into one in a way, all these years. That's pretty cool. With the safety of 
having our own partners and children and and like we get to we get to go and be super silly and and play each other's stand-in partners to get rid of all the crazy shit so we don't actually take it back to our own uh respective husband and wife exactly hey get that mask out on film not at home you know what i mean that's a a whole different (laughs) exactly I had such a blast. I, like I said, I've been a big fan of both of yours uh, uh, for years. I mean, <laughs> just I remember being a teenage kid seeing teeth and still have <laughs> memories of it scarred me through my puberty. <laughs> I'm so glad. I know. I thought you, I was like, please let him say nightmares. Yes, it did. <laughs> I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to date or anything <laughs> through throughout high school, you know? Oh God, but- I'm honored. <laughs> And uh, Josh, I mean, I- I'm telling you, I think you are, you're going to go down as the creepiest stalker I've seen in a film all time. No joke. I mean, that was just some, uh, Unsane is honestly one of my favorite films uh, ever. I think it's the most, one of the most underrated movies. I just love it so much. And I remember being in a theater watching and I'm like, holy shit, I'm looking around, you know, coming out of it. So yeah, uh, David, David Strine was a very misunderstood dude. <laughs> Clearly. And- and did some terrible things too. Absolutely. Well, thanks so much, guys. This, this was always a blast to, to catch up and talk. And uh, I really enjoy the film. It's just a lot of fun. It gives you some perspective too on, on how weird couples can be and how weird relationships and humans are and how fun at the same time. So awesome work bringing the, the, the realness to it. Thanks, Thank Jim. You Thank you so much for taking us. the time today. Absolutely. Hope to connect on, on the next one. And you guys got to collaborate, not 10 years from now, just like maybe like two or something. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> we'll work on it. Sounds good. Bye, Thanks. guys. Bye, Bye, Emma. Thanks so much. Thanks, Jim. Bye. Take care.